Hi friends, uh, this is Vithal. In this short tutorial, you will learn how to create the store procedure. So first, uh, open your SQL Server Studio Management and uh, go to the login either using the Windows authentication or server authentication as you have. I have uh, authenticating user in the Windows authentication. Then connect. It will be connected to the SQL Server Studio Management. And then after that, <coughs> uh, uh, first we will see what is the store procedure and uh, how we can create it. It is basically it is uh, focusing on beginner. Uh, so store procedure is the group of statement which will be used to create, insert, update, delete the re uh, delete the records. So there are two ways of creating the store procedures uh, using wizard and using the create command of command of the SQL server or create keyword of the SQL server. So first we will see by using the wizard so how to create store procedure using the wizard just expand this database node and choose a data uh, choose the database in which uh, on which you are trying to create the store procedure suppose i am selecting this uh, this one database then after that <coughs> this is a this is a programmatically folder under that expand it under that there is a store procedure subfolder so click click right click on it and you see the new store procedure option just a click on it if you click on it the some auto gener uh, some code is generated by default this is standard code one just we need to configure as per the our requirement so let us see uh, how this code is generated so let us understand this is one this is a section where we can uh, add the author name means who uh, who is created this store procedure so later on if you see next developer come then he can say he is he one is created then created date of this store procedure then a description what about this store procedure why it is written uh, if for example for inserting the employees or selecting the employees all over this this is a description of this store procedure now then the uh, next section is the uh, create procedure in this create procedure section you see that there is a procedure name so here we need to define the our store procedure name store procedure name may be anything that is add employee get employee maybe whatever uh, as per the uh, command we are firing an sql server and uh, this section is defined the uh, parameters means uh, what parameters you you are passing to the store procedure uh, as per the as per the our need so uh, this is the section for defining the parameters parameter uh, parameters are always defined by using the at the rate parameter followed by uh, data type name and uh, it's a default value null or not and uh, then after that uh, there is a begin section in this begin section actually we need to write the logics so in uh, auto generated code there is this is a section set no count on so for it this explanation given why this put read it set no count on added to prevent the extra result sets from the integrated with the select statement so wh what about this set not count not count on so let us see i am pairing the one select command let select a star from employee suppose i am pairing this query execute a certain extra message generated that is zero rows affected so to avoid this type of message uh, we we need to use set no count on so how this will be works let's see let's see so this only message is showing no uh, count is showing so this is all about uh, the set not count on so we have already named the uh, uh, employee ta uh, employee table so we are going to insert the all the details into it then let us co uh, configure the store procedure as per our need this is a uh, this is a author name author name uh, will be suppose uh, vital word j uh, created date uh, maybe today that is 2109 uh, and uh, 2015 so description will be anything uh, this this procedure procedure used to ROC DOP procedure used 
to add employee so description may be anything you can add anything so in this uh, latter section you, can, you need to define the store procedure name what about the store procedure so suppose uh, i am adding the insert insert or uh, i can say that <coughs> save employee save employee emp hello save employee save employee details so this is a st uh, this is my store procedure name and uh, this is my table that is employees uh, let's see how many parameters in this select a star form employee so so <coughs> so this has three parameters so let us pass three parameter name city and address and this id will be auto generated so we need to pass this id so let us configure the parameters uh, delete this one and then after that <coughs> define parameters how you can define parameters it is this one this one now name name any me name where care whatever may be length as per the database column where care if you define null then we need to pass this parameter if you not null then it need to be must pass the parameter of this source procedure then next one is city it is where care another i put 50 it may be anything just i am example purpose i am doing it and uh, before each parameter defining this give the comma semicolon comma sorry comma then after that uh, there is another one address where care and then address 50 or anything and here we uh, we need to uh, give the comma so put it is then I'll set no count on keep it keep as it is then after the next section is we need to insert uh, insert procedure so how we can insert it so let us let us let us delete one pass that insert into employee this is employee and then after that you can pass this directly values uh, by defining the parameters or you can pass like this also that is uh, name then after that city and then after that address address this one and uh, values of this parameter we uh, which are the values from we, uh, which parameter we have to pass name that is a name this will this will be name so this will be name then after that for uh, for city this is a city that is a copy just paste paste here and uh, last parameter nothing will be there this is the address parameter so pass here pass here uh, remove this one and now our store procedure is ready to insert the employee details so we need to now press f5 or execute execute our store procedure is created successfully so so next is we need to we need to pass the parameters so how how execute the store procedure this is the exc exc execute store procedure name and this is showing that uh, name parameter city and address so directly we can pass like this uh, uh, name will be suppose uh, j and uh, suppose uh, city will be mumbai mumbai and uh, suppose address address will be i will put uh, kurla and now just execute this one 
now command is completed successfully means uh, one record is successfully inserted in, uh, in our database database table so how we can ensure that so copy this one and <coughs> and just uh, select select a star from employee and press f5 let us see records are successfully inserted into the database using the store procedure so this is a <coughs> this is a one uh, this, uh, this is one option through we can create the slow procedure using the wizard so it will be generate one standard uh, standard template uh, uh, using all the standards such as author name create name description and all these things it reduces our effort uh, to create the store procedure and now another section uh, uh, another option uh, to create uh, the store procedure is that i have already explained using the create similar to this i have read the create so i will show you how we can uh, do this as a type create create a procedure proce proc or procedure maybe anything procedure add emp emp and this one this one parameter as we defined name name where care 50 50 then after that uh, ct where care where care 50 and then after that address address where care where care where care 50 50 and then after that finally as begin begin and end here uh, we need a uh, uh, lots of effort uh, writing this uh, code sometime we forget uh, like set not count on or sometimes we forget uh, the author name of the store procedure and all the details so it's uh, better to use uh, this wizard or according to your knowledge and experience you can use this this option as well so this this is all about the creating the store procedures uh, so uh, suppose uh, you want uh, copy C same logic here same logic we using same logic so create and end and now execute one this procedure is created now same logic copy this one copy this one copy one and paste and just uh, change the store procedure name name now if execute this one now two records will be in our table is that is uh, select star form employee let's see this is a two records so both options are useful uh, use anyone whatever you want uh, for pressure they will uh, use wizard but wizard is not good it's not look professional so we can use the uh, we can always uh, use to pressure by using create command so we have uh, your hands on of the all the keywords and all uh, so this is all about the store procedure uh, if you have any doubts and all this any uh, any concerns and queries then please visit to my blog www.compilemode.com thanks